The Lord be with you. This is a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Now Jesus spoke to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore sat down and put the goods into a basket, but threw out the bed. Then Jesus said to them, have you understood all of this? They answered, yes. And he said to them, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of the household who brings out his treasure, what is old, what is new and what is old. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, once again, welcome to all of you this evening. It's good that we can be here. A special welcome to our guests of honor who are sitting here on the side. I know they have brought their family with them. They come from the northern part, many are from the northern part of the province of New Brunswick. Some are here from Quebec. We know that there are other visitors also who are uh, here for the weekend visiting in the Rosse area, maybe visiting your family. So special welcome to all of you also. My uh, last assignment before retiring was uh, I was stationed in St. Mary's in Newcastle. It had a mission church of St. Joachim's Eel Ground First Nation. This past week on the CBC website, and I understand it was also on the news, uh, evening CBC news, there was a clip about one of my former parishioners, the former chief, Roger Augustine. Some of you might have read it and listened to it. It was about how he was one of the spearheaders to begin a new healing center that opened at Eel Ground First Nation. I watched that website clip with great interest since it had been a dream of Rogers for many, many years. Roger Augustine was committed to reducing the harm associated with drug and alcohol abuse. In that interview, he revealed that at 28 years of age, he himself was struggling. He said, I literally lost everything, not only my material things, possessions, but family. I had nothing, not even a driver's license, not even a job. He spoke of waking up one morning and saying, I think I'm going to quit this drinking for a while. That was the last time he has ever had a drink. Roger is now one of the great elders of the community of Eel Ground First Nation. It was quite a learning curve in 2006 when I went to Eel Ground and also to St. Mary's in dealing with the First Nations people since I had never worked with them before. Many of their traditions, such as respect for creation, respect for the elder, smudging, different events and things that take place after the 
body has after someone has died. But there is, I found out there is great, great respect for the elders of the community. The elder is the one with years of learning, of sharing life experiences and knowledge. The one that people seek out for advice, maybe as young people are entering into a new phase of life, that they would go and speak to the elder of the community. Even the respect that they had for the elders at some of their community events. The elders were always led to the tables first for dinner, for the meal. And they, in their turn, in their wisdom and knowledge, led the rest of the community to the table. The elders came with their life experiences and understood that it was their call to teach others the importance of people and the working of this great spirit of God in their lives and not so much the material things. Today's first reading is beautiful. We should all have a copy of it posted on our walls at home. Solomon in a dream. Now we know that when God appears to people in dreams in scripture, and when an angel appears to someone in, uh, and says, do not be afraid, you want to buckle your seatbelts because there's going to be trouble on the horizon. God appears to Solomon in a dream. And he says, ask for anything that you want. And what does Solomon ask for? He doesn't ask for revenge on the enemy. He doesn't ask for a bigger and a better community or lots more money. He doesn't ask for good health or happy family. But Solomon asks for something very, very important, very, very basic that all of us need to learn the lesson from. Solomon asks for an understanding heart. To be able to, ex to distinguish right from wrong. To have gift the gifts he needs to be the best he can in the service of God and of God's people. Through the gift of baptism and the very life of Jesus Christ being given to us, we too are called, just as Solomon was, to be the best that we can be in service of God and God's people. We have a perfect example of it in the 60 years of married life of the roulettes this weekend. It's done through our acceptance, through our welcome, through our compassion, our respect and sensitivity shown to all people in our journey of life. Discovering God's life in the other and discovering most importantly God's life in us. That is our treasure. It's not about all the material stuff that we have. Solomon, Chief and Elder Roger, discovered that in life, God desires to transform our lives. And faith invites us to live in love with God and with one another. And we have a perfect example in the 60 years of married life of the Ouellettes. It is the treasure and the pearl of great price. Are we willing to take up the challenge, the treasure of today's readings? Remember the Hindu blessing. Do we respect the God in others as we respect the same God in us? Today our prayer is Give us, O oh Lord, a heart wise and understanding and compassionate. 
so we can be the best we can be in your service. Leading others like the elders to the table through prayer, inclusion, example, and compassion.